Today, we will talk about the function sine of x, sine of y, over x and y. This is what it looks like. Now, although this might look very weird to you and disgusting, it actually has a very simple solution. For instance, we will try to find all the critical points on this graph. One obvious one is at this point, which is 0, 0. It is a local max. And you can see all of these other wave-like peaks are also local max, whereas the valleys between them are local mins. And we're going to find some explicit forms for those. So first, we'll take the partial. I've already done that for you, so you don't have to do that. And you get that. Now, if you distribute for the first one, you get sine of y cosine of x over x, y minus sine of x sine of y over x squared y is equal to 0. Now, we'll multiply both sides by x squared y to cancel out the denominator. So this side you get x sine of y cosine of x minus sine of x sine of y is equal to 0. Well, now you see something really interesting because there's sine of y in both of these and you can just take those out. It's the same as dividing that and that zero cancels out. Now what you do is you see x cosine of x, you move that to the other side, so you could do sine of x, and now you can solve for x, because if you divide both sides by cosine of x, you get x is equal to tangent of x. Voila! An explicit form for x. And now we solve for the other one the same way. I'm not going to do it for you, but you get the same thing, which is y is equal to tangent of y. So this is one of the forms of the solution, where the solution is of the form tangent of x comma tangent of y. But now you think there's also another solution here at 0, 0. You could find it through this, but since you can see it on the graph, we'll just say it's one of, since it's, it's since at sine of zero is equal to zero, it's one of the, I mean tangent of zero is equal to zero, it's one of the uh, solutions, so zero comma zero. But there are also two other different forms of solutions, where k pi comma zero and zero comma k pi. Because these are on the axes, so you see these peaks as going off on the x and y axes. Those are also solutions. They occur at pi intervals. You can find that through solving for all those partials. But really, the nice solution here is tangent of x, tangent of y. And these are the four solutions. Done. I'm going to get a whole view of your board.